The OnePlus 7 Pro is finally here and it's definitely a beast of a phone. It has a new design with a pop-up camera, a stunning display that bleeds over the edges and it's fast like crazy fast. But the hardware upgrades aren't all that's new in this phone. OnePlus has packed in a bunch of cool features, some of which you might not even know about. So if you have just bought a new OnePlus 7 Pro or are planning on buying one, I've got some handy tips and tricks just for you. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from GT and let's get right to it. To kick things off, let's first talk about the new Zen mode. OnePlus' own take on Google's digital well-being to help you put down your phone and take back control of your life. Well, for 20 minutes at least. To use Zen mode, slide down the quick settings and tap on the Zen mode icon. But do know that once you start the Zen mode, you won't be able to use your phone for the next 20 minutes. Don't worry, you'll still be able to receive calls and use the camera, but everything else is locked down. Even the notifications are muted to avoid all distractions. Oh, and you can't cancel the Zen mode after it started. There is no going back. Yep, you heard it right. Jokes aside, the OnePlus 7 Pro packs in another new mode that also mutes notifications but for a different purpose. The all new Fnatic mode is the revamped eSports mode that you'd find in older OnePlus devices. When it's turned on, it redirects all of your phone's resources to the game you're playing and gets rid of all the distractions, including incoming calls and messages. However, it still lets the alarm and low battery notifications pass through. Turn on the Fnatic mode, open up any game of your choice and then turn it on from the game mode pop-up. As soon as you flip the switch, the phone will restrict all background apps, block notifications and stop the secondary SIM to enhance the network on your primary SIM. The Fnatic mode is named after the iconic European esports organization with the same name and I'm pretty sure all of you who like to game on your phone will appreciate it. OnePlus has also included a fun little easter egg for the new mode which unlocks three Fnatic themed wallpapers for your phone. You can get these wallpapers by opening up the Fnatic mode settings and tapping on the Fnatic logo a couple of times. Then type out Always Fnatic in the text box and tap on Add to Wallpapers in the next window. Pretty cool, right? But you know what's even cooler? A native screen recording utility. And the OnePlus 7 Pro has that as well. Yep, that's right. OnePlus has finally baked the screen recording tool right into Oxygen OS and it's far better than any third-party screen recording app that I have used so far. It has a minimal interface, a couple of really handy features and the ability to record on-device audio. And you can launch it right from the quick settings which is pretty convenient. You can even change the screen resolution of your recording, adjust the bitrate and select the audio source. Even the touch pointer location is turned on by default which means that you don't even have to fiddle with the developer options anymore. Screen recording has never been so convenient. While we are on the topic of screens, isn't the one on OnePlus 7 Pro just fantastic? Look at this thing, it's nothing short of a piece of art and for good reason. This is the highest resolution screen the company has used on a phone so far and it's just beautiful. But having a high resolution screen on your phone does have its disadvantages. Most importantly, it's a major battery drain. But OnePlus has included a setting to let you easily change the resolution to 1080p. To do so, head over to the display settings, tap on resolution and tap on if HD plus. Isn't that simple? The only time you probably don't want to switch to 1080p is when you're watching videos on your phone. But there's another thing you can do to make your experience even better. The OnePlus 7 Pro comes with a new video enhancer mode for that purpose. You can turn on the mode from within the display settings and it'll automatically kick in the moment you turn on a video app like Netflix or YouTube. You might not be able to see any difference in the video, but trust me, the mode really works. With an AMOLED screen comes the benefit of having an always-on display. But no matter what manufacturers say, using the setting does take a toll on the battery life. Which is why the OnePlus 7 Pro has an ambient display setting which does things a little bit better. You can turn it on from the phone's display settings and it'll let you see all your notifications without draining the battery as much. Because it only displays the information when you pick up your phone, it really saves the battery. Cool, right? Next, let's talk about another cool feature that comes with the all-new 90Hz AMOLED display on the OnePlus 7 Pro, and that's called DC Screen Dimming. The feature is hidden within the OnePlus laboratory settings and you can access it by navigating to the Utilities option in the Settings menu. With the setting turned on, the device automatically adjusts the brightness of the screen and reduces screen flickering 
in low brightness. It's definitely a great addition, but since it's a lab setting, you might encounter some unwanted bugs, so it's best to proceed with caution. Speaking of bugs, you know what bugged me the most about older OnePlus devices? The aggressive RAM management. This time around though, the company has included a neat RAM boost feature that claims to do a better job of handling the available memory. The feature helps your phone learn from your usage habits and intelligently allocate RAM to apps that you use the most. With the setting turned on, you won't have to worry about your favorite apps being killed in the background. To turn it on, head over to the system settings and scroll down to locate the new RAM boost option. Just turn on the toggle and you're good to go. Next up, Quick Launch is another cool feature that lets you launch apps fast. With it, you can launch them right from the fingerprint scanner. Yeah, that's right. To turn on the Quick Launch feature, go to the Utilities section in the Settings menu and open up Quick Launch. Turn on the toggle and then tap on the shortcut setting to add your favorite apps to the list. You can also change the positions of the shortcuts depending on the apps you use the most. Pretty neat, right? Rounding things off is the new Safe Driving feature which you can use only if you have the new Warp Charge 30 card charger. And the best part is that you don't even need to set it up. It works all by itself as soon as you connect the car charger to your phone. Once you do that, the phone will automatically present you with the option to activate the TND mode or launch a specific app every time you connect the charger. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Do drop a like if you like the tips we presented here. And OnePlus 7 Pro users, if you have any other tips and tricks up your sleeve, do comment below. And do subscribe to Guiding Tech. That's GT. This is Abhijit signing off and I will see you in the next one.